In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Writing Test 8, Section 2. We're now on the fourth and final passage, Fire in Space. On Earth, fire provides light, heat, and comfort. Its creation by a process called combustion requires a chemical reaction between a fuel source and oxygen. The shape that fire assumes on Earth is a result of gravitational influence and the movement of molecules. In the microgravity environment of space, moreover, combustion and the resulting fire behave in fundamentally different ways than they do on Earth, differences that have important implications for researchers. So question 34, this is a transition question. Look at the sentence above, describing the properties, the shape that fire assumes on Earth, it's a result of this influence and movement of molecules. And now we're comparing Earth to space. On, in space, the combustion and resulting fire behave in a fundamentally different ways. That is your clue. It's different from Earth. We need contrast. And so the answer definitely is however B. All right, let's take a look at 35. A group of engineering students from the University of California at San Diego, UCSD, for example, tried to find a method to make their biofuel combustion study. Fuels derived from once living material free of the drawbacks researchers face on Earth. So 35, we have to either keep or replace this underlying section. And a good strategy, you see how we've got this non-essential clause here? It's describing fuels derived from once living material. So we have to replace or keep this phrase, this clause, and your clue should be however this non-essential clause starts. It's describing fuels, and you need to end with fuels. That's what I call logic order. So it ends with study and then describing fuels. It's really out of order. And so this is a good strategy for these types of problems. So we know it's not A. Strove for a method to make their study of biofuel combustion. Again, it ends with combustion. We want to end with fuel and then describe that fuel. Look for a method to study biofuel combustion. Again, we want fuels. Sought a method to study combustion of biofuels and then describing those fuels. D is the answer. All right, let's take a look at 36. The standard method involves burning droplets of fuel, but Earth's gravitational influence caused the droplets to lose spherical symmetry while burning. This deformation results in subtle variations in density that both causes uneven heat flow and limits the size of the droplets that can be tested. So a couple of questions here. First with 36, this is a diction question. We have deformation. Look for the clue. It's describing the droplets. They lose their spherical symmetry. And that really means that they lose their form. That is exactly what deformation means. It loses their form. And so this one is no change for 36. And then 37 results in variations in density that both causes uneven heat flow and limits the size of the droplets that can be tested. Now, both obviously involves two things. It's plural. So whenever you see the word both, we know there's two things. They're always going to be joined by and. And causes is the singular version of the verb, right? We want plural because it's both. And so we want cause, uneven heat flow, and limits. Again, limits is, is singular. We want plural and limit the size. And so just keep that in mind. This is just subject verb agreement. And so th 37 is B, cause, plural, uneven heat flow, and limit. All right, let's take a look at 38. Now scroll down just a little bit here. Specifically designed drop towers built for this purpose reduce these problems, but they provide no more than 10 seconds of microgravity and the droplet size is still too small to produce accurate models of combustion rates. So 38, we see specifically designed, which means that there's this, this purpose exists specifically. This is the reason these were designed. And then we've got built for this purpose. You should recognize this is redundant. Why do we need to see built this purpose when we have specifically designed? So it's just repetitive. So we're gonna get rid of that. And so 38 is D. And let's take a look at 39. The UCSD students understood that these limitations had to be surmounted. As part of the program, researchers fly their experiments aboard aircraft that simulate the microgravity environment of space. The aircraft accomplish this feat by flying in parabolic paths instead of horizontal ones. On the plane's ascent, passengers feel twice Earth's gravitational pull, but for brief periods at the peak of the trajectory, I'll just scroll down to 40, weightlessness or microgravity similar 
to what his experience in space has achieved. So we'll do these last two questions, 39 and 40, and then we'll stop the video. So 39, let's see if I can fit this in here. We have these UCSD students understood that these limitations had to be surmounted. And then we start a new sentence as part of the program. This is very similar to the question we did above where we're describing fuels. We start out with as part of this program, we want to end with program. This is that logical order one. So let's take a look at 39. Again, we want to end with describing a program. The UCSD group sought to overcome these difficulties by participating in NASA's microgravity university program. This looks good because it ends in program and then we start out as part of the program. C, looking for, D, solution. None of those end with program except B and this is that logical order and it really makes it much more objective, these problems, if you can think of these rules. And we'll just do 40 and then we'll stop. And so 40, the last question here, as part of the trajectory, weightlessness or microgravity similar to what is experienced in space is achieved. And so we have this term weightlessness and then it's describing microgravity similar to what is experienced in space. So this is a non-essential clause. Right? And we know the non-essential clause has to be bound by commas or dashes or parentheses. We have one comma, so we need another comma, right? And it's going to be right here. And so the answer is D.